Hi everyone. Welcome back to this channel. Today I am going to explain you how to create in ServiceNA account and how to generate or create an instance or develop an instance for our requirement. So let's have a look what we'll discuss here. So before starting, this is Deepak here. I am going to explain you about service now, creating account and creating developer instance so that whenever it is required to create any service now activity or development activity to perform with our service now account we will do that. So create an account and service now and create an developer instance so here we have to go to the developer.servicenow.com just copy and paste it here this link so don't worry about that i will mention this link in description tab from there you can go to the link and just click and create an account so once you click create an account you are able to see detail page where you have to provide your first name last name email address password and confirmation password once you will enter this detail it will initiate one email on your email id for verifying your email id so once you will do that you will get an password and login credential for service now because i have already created my account i am directly login with this just click on this and enter your email id so i have just provided here my email id now it will ask for my password just enter my password Now you can see it's logged in in my account. But for development and service now activity for managing all incidences, leads, and other email services and invoice and all, we just have to create and develop an instance. So for creating an instance, click on request an instance. Once you will request on the or if you have already created an instance you can restore it because I have already created on before the restoration process can take up to 8 hours let us create a new one. So I am creating with new, uh, new York and just click on request. So once you will click on the request, it will take some time for your account because if you have already used that your instance, let me copy this URL which will be used for further uses, uh, not this. now you can see here it will ask for my password and credential once you will request this just enter this and change your password because my username is admin I need to provide my current password and change with new password current password is this let me change it to new password once I will enter the detail your developer account or instance will be created 
so for in future if you want to log in with this you're able to do that let me save this now you can see your developer instance is available and these instances are available for 90 days of duration so you can get it from somewhere here this instances will be available for 90 days so basically when we are creating the developer instance it's always available for 90 days for free of cost and if you want to uh, upgrade with your Postgres account, you can do that by just making in payment. So here you can see uh, my home page is available from home homepage. You can do whatever activity here and it's it's an administrator login. So better to keep in safe, you can create a user for using this. So just like if you want to host any uh, business application or raise in any type of requirement, you can do that by this operation. So this is all about how you can create an account in ServiceNow and creating a developer instance so that in any part of time when we want to send a JSON file or any other activity related to development, we can do that by using this process. So let's have a, some short of snippet about ServiceNow. So ServiceNow is a very big and globally accepted tool for incident management. Second, you can see that for logging all the invoices or all the documented process, just like purchasing needs and any other hardware and software requirement, all will be maintained here. So just like if you want to launch an application or server instances that is web-based application, you can launch it and for launching big organization will need some CR that is change request that change request will be inserted here if your laptop is not working many organizations are using laptop ticketing system or incident ticketing system so if your VPN is not working you can log your incident here and that incident will be assigned to your manager once manager will be approved this incident will be directed to IT team where IT team take an action on that so this is all about how and what we can do with the service now let's take one more example just like if we want to launch any product in production so the process is begin with creating an incident for creating an incident two type of approval will be needed one from IT head department approval second from the operation perspective operation perspective is also having two or three type of approvals like its certification approval from the UAT team or user acceptance testing team and the QA team after this approval it will create an incident or create and change request for the deployment and the mail will be attached in this so just like i will show you here the incidents are available let me move to the further inventory system let me search it here so whatever already incidences are created here that incident will be available here so let us check this ah sorry incident incident now you can see uh, let's click on this now you can see whatever incidents are available here all the incident will be listed this is the incident number and for unable to access the 
shared folder email server is down so these type of hardware and software uh, issues will be logged here for reporting purpose or for better management of ticketing system so service now is basically used for the ticketing system for inventory management issue logging or any production deployment or any hardware and software requirement will be raised from the operational or organization for purchase of that document and the definitely is going to be held with the invoices as well so this is all about incidents so let's recap the complete session i've started with creating and service now login credential then explain about how to create our developer instance after creating an instance just provided the some overview of that and we have a look on incidents this is all about how to create an account and overview of service now hope you understand it if you have any queries or comment please comment in the comment section so that i will check and review the resolution and most important part don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for the latest update thank you